And we're back. Welcome everybody to the uh, Teppin Card Reveal Showcase. Can't really say leaks, because they're kind of like, I mean, it does say hashtag leaks on Twitter and all that. But they kind of just like, everybody can see the cards, so they are kind of just revealing. So, uh, with me today, finally in some form of grace in the corner, uh, Frank West, Expert Hunter, hello. What's up everyone? What's up, Ben? <laughs> um, <laughs> I finally given you a body of some kind, I guess. <laughs> better than nothing, right? <laughs> yeah, it's better than nothing. Yeah, yeah, no, totally. It's fine. It's all good. Good to see you have a physical body. All right, you ready? So we're going to talk about pretty much the cards that have been revealed thus far as of today. Um, a new card has been revealed, which we will get into it. It is a green card. And I, I feel like in, they clearly have shown more green cards. So I feel like green will be... We'll have majority of a bunch of the new cards. I'm assuming, not 100% certain, but I'm assuming the basic cards will be up. Will be for green as well. Yeah, probably green. Anyways, I'm gonna judge these cards with an iron fist. <laughs> mm, time to judge these cards. <laughs> Alright, thank you. Alright, so let's begin things up. Uh, first one we have is the Blue Badger. I should totally play that theme song. Doon, 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 doon. He's got a really banging tune, let me tell you. No. Uh, this unit cannot attack. When played, collect four pieces of evidence. Three cost machine, one ten. Wow. Oh, man. I, I, I did not know he cannot attack. <laughs> you know he can't attack. Uh, Ascension fodder. Uh, Ascension fodder, but he's mainly uh, evidence fodder as well. Yeah, and he's good for blocking, really. Like, 10 body. Yeah, 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 but four, I'm pretty sure four pieces of evidence is pretty substantial, so... Mm. That's probably the main reason you play this card. Yeah, yeah. I mean, how many 3, 10, 3 cost 110 does Red have, like, apart from Neon Tiger? I think it's just Neon uh, Tiger. It's, it's just Neon Tiger, and then we have uh, Ragi, which is a 1-7. Yeah, that's right. And then now... Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I, I think it's pretty damn good, to be honest. Like, Red has a pretty good way of getting evidence in one drop, really. I mean, it's basically just a blocker that collects evidence, so... Yeah. Um, it's not bad. It's not bad. I don't, I don't think it's a bad card. It's not bad. Like, it can only be played for... It's only when played, so it's only from the hand. If he comes into the board any other way, you're not getting the evidence. So, I'll give it that. Yeah, so it just depends on what other cards we get for collecting evidence. Uh, yeah, when it comes to red. To see how much they uh, either, hopefully not over tune red when it comes to evidence like they did with growth. Let's hope they don't make that same mistake again. <laughs> Please, no. Uh, alright, number two. <clears throat> I forgot what this one was called. <laughs> Crap, I forgot its name. Um... I don't know, dude. <laughs> On the main Tevin website. Ah, oh, heck, I'm going there quickly. Pardon me. A quick rummage through the website. I forgot to put the title in the card. Chatterbox. Frank West. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Frank West card. Uh, Chatterbox. Uh, it deals one damage to one unit three times. When you present two pieces of evidence, you deal an additional one damage to the same unit three more times. Pretty good. Yeah, this is definitely a, a dungeon card. Uh, I'm hearing peep chatter. I'm hearing chatter amongst the tep Teppan people that de uh, evidence dungeon is looking like the next thing they're pushing. Dungeon into the evidence lineup. Yeah, shields don't even protect you from this card because it'll ping the shield and then it'll, it'll ping you right after. Yeah, so give this a good like one or two dungeon charges, so that's three damage, and then you you're gonna hit the card three times, proc, proc three shields if they have it, and then present the two evidences, and you're gonna proc another three damage uh, three times. So uh, very strong shield. Well, well, I mean, their shields don't matter because the, the only res like if they respond to this card with a shield, you're not gonna respond back. No. You so they're only to. gonna block one. Uh, so they're only gonna block one damage from the card. 
Yeah, it's uh, very good for the uh, shield matchup with when it comes to green. So uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this deals with green shields for sure. Solidly good for red. I'm kind of glad it's not too, too cheap. I'm okay that it being three. If it was cheaper than that, I kind of would be really upset. To be honest, I think this card is just in general a good red card. Yeah, I'll just say averagely good. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, dude was revealed on the website as well. Uh, Miles Edgeworth. When placed on the field, he deals damage to one random enemy unit equal to the amount of open board slots times two. So you obviously want to play him when you have an empty board. Um, destroyed by damaging effects, you collect one piece of evidence. So um, when you destroy the unit, you collect. Or I'm assuming you... Because apparently you could do tag a target up to multiple. Wait, so by open board slots, it counts your opponent's slots too, right? Um... Deal one damage to one random unit equal to the amount of open board slots. I'm going to assume all. Yeah, yeah I assume it's our, it's all slots. I'm going to assume all, going by just the, by the text itself, just to just to safely assume, assume that. But then again, we were wrong about the whole ba board balance when it came to purple and Ada shit. So it was technically only yours that counted, not your. No, 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 no. Gen counts both slots. Does he? Yeah, yeah, Gen counts your opponent's slots, so does, uh, so does Aura. Which Gen? No, no, Aura, Aura, uh, count, no, Aura counts all lock spaces, Gen only counted his side. Gen only locks no, no, your... No, 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 no. Yeah, he only locks yours, but he counts your opponent's locked slots as well. Oh, he does? Okay. I haven't had that opportunity to bounce. Uh, yeah, 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 so, so, so if you lock, if there's a lock on your opponent, on your opponent's board, and then you lock two, that means you bounce a six cost card. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so... So, obviously, if you destroy the unit by his effect, you collect one piece of evidence. On death, consume three pieces of evidence to return him back to your ex pocket. Um, I don't think he's... broken. Like Strider. No, no, no. <laughs> he's fair. He's a fair card. I think he's you, yeah. you have to think when you... You have to think when you play him. Yes. You have to think when dropping Miles Edgeworth. Like, obviously you want to get the most value, that means have an open, open slate on your side of the field. So he does 4 free damage to a target, and if your opponent's got a free slot, let's say 1, that's 6 damage. Um, Best case scenario is uh, you just wait until your opponent plays 1 unit and then you drop him to yeah. deal 8 damage. Uh, yeah, uh, then that, that guarantees you 1 piece of evidence um, for that. And then it's a matter of if he if you have three, he auto he will most likely auto consume those three pieces of evidence. So as long as you collect more than three, unless you want him to go back to your ex pocket, otherwise I'm assuming do not collect more than three. <laughs> uh, I mean I think our, I think Dango already said he's garbage. <laughs> well, no, no, I don't. Think, I think he's garbage. I, I think he's fair. It's fair. Let's look at this one. Which, which, which in Teppen usually fair means garbage. Which means garbage, because it's fair. But if, you know, all the broken shit is slowly being pushed out for fair, fine. I, I, I think it's good just because it's fair. <laughs> that, that, that's it. I, I, I... See, my argument for playing this card is like, uh, it helps you collect evidence. Yeah. And I mean, we're losing Dragoon, right? Mm -hmm. Like, what, like... We're losing Lucia. Like, what other five cost legendaries can you swap out? So, I mean, mm, he's gonna be Lucia, so. Yeah. Yeah, reg regardless if he's a god card or not, people are still gonna play him. I, I believe so. Like, it it it's another good, like, okay, let let's see, starting hand, I got Miles Edrith. Okay. Place one unit, bam, I'll drop him. Like, um, like Strider, he's good to, like, throw out at the start, I guess. And then. You know, to be smarter with him, wait a bit later game to take advantage of the ball of the of the match. You get rid of a unit. The the good thing about him is he, he keeps coming back, right? Yeah, that's that's the one thing. So you you gotta like give you you're automatically giving up three pieces of evidence. So that's where you gotta think about, I guess. Uh, when if, you play him, yeah. If you want him to come back to the Xbox, if you want to lose. Three pieces of evidence. 
with um, Miles Edward because you could be saving for something else. So you may not want to lose those three straight away. Um, that's all. So yeah, I, I think it's I think he's a fair solid card for being a, a balanced card, I guess. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you, Miles. <laughs> All right, uh, Steel Samurai Show, three cost action. Uh, switch the attack of one friendly unit and the unit in front. I think it was best described as a meme card? Uh, it's definitely a meme because you have to go into the action phase. Yeah. Anytime you have to go into the action phase, it's kind of, it's kind of risky. Especially with a card like this, because then you're giving your opponent the option to either kill your card or sacrifice their card. Hmm. That I get. I mean, I think it'd be interesting if that effect was on a unit, so it was an auto effect. Like, you drop the unit in front of their unit and they automatically swap attacks. Um... I mean, the one thing that, I, that came to mind when I first seen this card was like, oh, we'll swap Orochi's attack with mine. <laughs> <laughs> I won't complain about that, to be truthfully honest. I'd probably do it. Just because it's like, fuck Orochi, I'm swapping attacks with you. <laughs> like, I'll drop uh, Rogi, I'll just drop Rogi in front and swap attacks. <laughs> yeah, that would, that, honestly, that would be kind of funny. <laughs> like, I, I would just want to do it for the meme. <laughs> I do it for the memes, uh, just because, yeah, everyone hates Orochi enough as it is. It's like, you know what, fuck this, I'm swapping attacks with it. So obviously you got to make sure, well, while it's at 8 and 7, swap its attack, uh, and then then laugh. <laughs> and then just laugh, because it, it really is no longer a threat at that point. It's just um, it's just an obstacle in the way until it dies, until they decide to get rid of it. Or it's basically forcing the black player to, like, I have to get rid of it now. I mean, this card could also just be good against like something like Kami as well, because you can swap attack with Kami. Exactly. Like, um, it would force the green person, uh, either to, uh, reset the Kami, or, you know, reset your unit, um, on the next action phase. If yeah, they, so, I yeah. mean, it might be a meme, but I, I think this card could kind of be, like, a tech card as well. Like, you can tech one of it. One of Like, oh, I don't I see, uh, yeah, yeah, like, if you're gonna play it, like, you would play it as a one of, I don't think you would play more than one. I mean, yeah. Well, Cause it's situational. Yeah, like, I, I like, it's a, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's a situational card, so when it comes to situational cards, you don't really want to play too many in your deck. No, no, no. So, definitely like a one of, and then we'll see what happens or how things go. Um, yeah. That's if you, you know, like if you want to play it, if you want to have fun with it, I would suggest just playing one copy. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's fair. Uh, that's fair. It's, it's a situational, but meme ish. But if it turns out to be really good, then, you know, we'll probably see more of it. I mean, just because it's situational doesn't mean it can't pop off. Like, like I just said, like what, you swap a tag with the Rochi. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, fucking, you, you be popping off definitely. <laughs> it's just like ah, suck shit, Rochi. All right, uh, all right. Moving on to green, uh, ground Scaravich, three cost two five machine. Uh, when a friendly unit is placed on the field, collect two pieces of evidence. I like this. Um, for the fact that, you know, you're collecting evidence when you play a friendly unit. I mean, it's just a, it's a solid 2-5 that collects evidence. I mean, it's something more than that. And it can, it's, it's a dual color deck because it says friendly unit, not green. So it is good in that situation. Oh, it's, it, oh, so it's every time a, a friendly unit is placed, right? Yeah, so you could have two of these on the field and you could just drop a unit and you're collecting four pieces of evidence. Um, and technically at that point you would have collected six because you play him, you play another one, collect two, drop another one, there's four pieces of evidence. Yeah, the, you probably just play this. This is probably your evidence guy for green. Definitely. Uh, I really do like it. Plus it's a machine, so more machine synergy. Machine, sh uh, mach machine synergy, but like just just a two five three drop is pretty good. Yeah, especially when they call. So, uh, not yeah, bad. nah. I, I actually really do like its stats for a three drop. Uh, that just gives it longevity on the board. Like I'm like, ah, it's sick. Let me get some evidence rolling here. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I mean, 2-5 is like the sweet spot for a 3-drop. Hmm. I'm kind of glad that they actually gave it 2, and not just 1. Because then it would have been like a hard decision whether or not I want to run it, but... At least at 2-5 I feel comfortable enough, like, alright, he can hold his own, and with the... whatever machine synergy or whatever I'm trying to do, like, you know, I could probably support the unit and keep it alive, so that's good. Um... Yeah. I, I like this dude a lot, so kudos to Ground Scaravich. Seeing how I'm moving into green is price. Uh, an incident uncovered. Forecast action. Give one friendly unit death. Place this unit in the same board slot. Present two pieces of evidence. Additionally, give that unit death, gain, and MP cost of two. Yeah, this card, uh... It's basically a gold orb, right? But with mm. evidence. Yeah, it's gold orb with evidence. Um, and that's the gold orb replacement, pretty much. But it gives you 2 MP, so it's a little better than gold orb, in my opinion. Oh, totally. <laughs> the fact that you get to get MP off the unit that di the unit dying uh, is great. I, I love it. I love it. And you only need to present two pieces of evidence for this to uh, trigger, so uh, I'm okay with that. I mean, I don't know if we need this card anymore, but um, it's still just a good option to have, I guess. Yeah, no, I agree. It's just, uh, what was Gold? Gold Orb was like, depending on the deck, was running at two, so... Some were only running one, but... One, yeah. Most people just, like, most people just started, like, just taking in the pull-out cards instead of Gold Orb. Yeah, that's because the things changed, that's why. So now that things are changing again, probably we might see this. I mean, this could see play because of the two uh, MP refund. Uh, for Yon and um, Boobers. Yeah, yeah. Yon slash um, Boobers, so you, like, you're getting. Yeah, so that's six mana. Like, that's a lot. Uh, no, you don't- wait, well, yeah, if you combine it with your own, yeah. <laughs> That's it. It is definitely- Oh, I'm going. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah, it's definitely 6 MP if you combine it with your own, like you said. Yeah, no, nah, it's- that's definitely, like, a, a good chunk of MP you're gaining off that. Um, so... Yeah, no, nah, I think it's good. I like it. Uh, we'll just have to figure out how to play it properly. Uh, but yeah. Well, I mean, it just depends if we're like, it just depends if we're like in a destroy meta or not, you know. But that I understand. Yeah, we'll need to figure that out too. What the meta is. Um... Black is losing a lot of stuff, so it makes running a card like this like uh, less useful if there isn't as many destroys. Maybe not, but they do. Technically, they still do have a lot of choices for uh, destroyers. They still have assassination lists, which is one of my memories. Or, or I, I mean, but assassination list targets only three drops or lower. Yeah, true. This is you can technically save that three drop with this. I don't know if I would want to save a three drop with this. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Maybe okay, maybe not saving the three drop. Depending what the three drop is. Um, but you know your fours and fives and sixes. Um, depending if they're legendaries or not. Yeah, yeah. Anything under three, I, I definitely wouldn't save. <laughs> uh, unless the three, three or low. <laughs> nah, it's not worth it. You're going neg on on mana. Like at least if you save a four drop, like you're breaking even. Yeah, no, that's true. I'm just saying, black does have other options. Um. I mean, they technically did get new options. We'll go into that. They did get some new options. Although, the way they're changing it, I think I'm okay with it. Uh, I mean, either way, good part. Either way, yeah, it's an archive. Uh, what Rex we got is not that much, same card. Alright, Dick Gumshoe! Good old Dicky. Uh, four cost human, two seven. After dealing attack damage to, the, to an enemy, collect two pieces of evidence. I just wish he could still collect it on counter, but he won't. Um, I think I'd be faster. He, probably. Yeah, he's like plant 42. He's got to attack to trigger his effect. I mean, he's got good stats. 2 7 for 4 is not bad. Yeah, I think that's what's holding me. That's what's holding him in place. Like, he's got the stats to keep him alive, and he can at least get an attack 
get there's evidence, and then, you know, he's good. I mean, it just depends on how many evidence collectors you need in your deck. That as well. Like, you pro- like, because I'm assuming you can keep collecting evidence. Um, but, you know, the cards, depending- cards will use up the evidence. So, you've collected ten, and then you've done two sets of cards that have collected three and four. So, you're, you've lost some evidence, and you need to regain those evidences again. Or something else, maybe. Yeah, but I don't. Th I don't think you need like. I don't think you'll ever be in a situation where like you'll use up all your evidence, because you're also going to use cards that don't have evidence or don't rely on evidence. That's true as well. Yeah, it's, it's just a matter of finding that balance. Um, and yeah, what you need specifically for evidence cards or not. So that's fine. Yeah, as a as a as a, as a basic unit, like you know, collects evidence when attacking. Has a decent stats, two seven. I mean, he seems playable. Just like, but like, if you compare him to a card like Jake, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> it's like, who would you rather play, this guy or Jake? Jake's a bit too free. I mean, if I ask me, <laughs> just so yeah, a like... bit. <laughs> just a bit. Um, but yeah, no, no, that makes sense. Thank you, Jake. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Dick. All right. Uh, we got Brilliant Turnabout, the six cost legendary. Uh, you place one green unit in your green unit from your deck onto the field and give it plus one plus one. Present seven pieces of evidence to place an additional two green units from your deck onto the field and give them plus one plus one. Yeah, so this card seems like the Trinity for evidence. Hmm. Not Trinity per se, but like what I mean by Trinity, I mean it's like the like the end goal, right? Like you're saving your evidence for this card. Yeah, and it's trying to figure out what the hell I'm because it's it is technically random units. There's no precise amount of MP you're bringing. I think is my only gripe. Like if it said it would guarantee bringing four MP or higher or something like that, at least you know you kind of know what you're getting. I mean, uh, you kind of know if you like only play like seven, ten units in your deck. You kind of know what you're gonna get. You kind of know, definitely. Like, you get an idea, you know? It's like, it's like, oh, like I just play what eight units, and I already played five. Like, there's only three in the deck. I already know what's coming. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, like, I got a Titan. Plus, there's Titan, man. This thing bringing Titan. Apparently, it was just, was take It was a. Uh, Said that it won't get the plus one plus one, so Titan would come out halted, but I don't think that really would matter. It doesn't matter, dude, it's Titan. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter, it's a Titan! You play uh, Titan for six mana, dude? For, that's that's basically free. That is free. Getting Titan for six is fucking free. So uh, I'd be okay with that, so I'm not gonna complain. Um, I definitely wanna see it. Yeah, plus you're getting two other units, and like, what if you bring out two Jakes? Now there are five, there are five, what is Jake? What is Jake? A two, he's a two, four, when he comes, no, no, he's a two, eight. Um, he's a two, five. He's a two, five? Yeah, he's a two, five. So he'd be what? Uh, five, five, six? six? A five, six coming out? Fucking hell. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, no, I think it's a good legendary. It's a matter of just like, you know, trying to get it right. Yeah, some people think it's it's bad, but I don't think it's bad at all. Like, it, it's, it's a card that gives you board presence. Board presence, yeah, because that's become a thing. You know, just a swarm uh, meta as it was. So, uh, we'll see how it goes if the swarm, if they're pushing more of the swarm, trying to, you know, push out the action phase, well, and I think they are. Well, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't call this a, a swarm card. It's more like a counterplay card. Like, um, mm. let's say you're behind and you have an empty board. They activate an action, they give you blue mana. Yeah. And then you play this, yeah, then you play this card for four MP, and then you bring out three units instantly. It just turns, that's why it's called Brilliant, brilliant turn, Turnabout. Yeah, it'd just be like in exactly in the game. Du -du 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 just so. <laughs> Boom, swarm the field. Um, but yeah, it's great for that situation. So that's a good, I like the legendary. I just, I want to see how I can actually utilize it in a way, so. Now, and finally, the final card for green, which also was revealed today, 
Mia Fey, four cost uh, spirit human, three three, epic. MP boost to 30. When she ascends, she randomly distributes a total of 10 points between your friendly unit's HP and your hero's life. Uh, first thing everyone was just like, yo, check out them boobers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is definitely the Leia replacement. 100%. Yeah, yeah, she definitely replaces Leia. I mean, uh, just uh, the other card also replaces Lair, the other three drop green unit. Uh, the yeah, one seven. We can't, I have uh, obviously I can't find the card because it only existed on the fucking on the damn stream. So yeah. the cards they revealed there, I think there was like two, and I forgot the other one. Uh, Geo. I mean, she's only. Twi I forgot. It's uh, it's basically Trish, but in disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. She offers twenty MP, and when she dies, yeah. she gives you two MP. She's a green cost unit, so that's another that's another good MP uh, unit as well. Um, but I definitely will always want to fucking ascend Mia. I, I, that will be like I have to ascend her. I want that. I want that distribution of ten. Yeah, especially against red, you don't want to play her raw. No, no, no. You, you Even against that. black, you want those block with a zombie. Yeah, no, nah, you don't want that. You definitely want to ascend her. You want you want to distribute that ten HP because uh, there's a lot of there's her and X. That's that's a lot of nice HP distribution just between those two units. Sorry, and the other X, legendary X, new X, and her. <laughs> She's a solid card though, especially for getting you out of boardlock situations. Yeah, uh, I think Mia Fey is an amazing card. Um, and if yeah, if you never played Ace Attorney, that's exactly how she looks like when she freaking takes control of Maya. So, yeah. <laughs> I know this, I'm not surprised! <laughs> I, I was just more like everybody else, I'm just seeing everyone's right, I'm just like, ah, oh, that's hilarious. Again, I just, I already know these things, but it's like, yep, I'm kind of already used to this. But yeah, now, Solar Card, I love it, so I can't wait to start, uh, utilizing I wouldn't mind going back to freaking uh, green, uh, green black uh, spirits again because now I've got Mia. Um, I mean, you could just play with some regular green, like. Oh, of course. Just use on leader summons and then ascend into a Mia. Boom. Yeah. I love it actually. That's great. <laughs> and then, she, and then she'll, she'll give HP to your Jaggies too. So. Hmm. Really nice stuff there. Really. really and good. if you have a. You have Soaring Spirits, you have Leader Summons, and you have Mia? <laughs> Damn, dude, that's a lot of HP. That's a lot of- that's a lot of HP just... everywhere. Um... So much to HP distribution. This is good. This is actually good for green. Like, so much HP distribution is really nice. Uh, so that actually helps them a lot. Looking forward to being more playing green these days now. Wait. Alright, moving on to purple. Uh, we got Cody Hackens. Three human cost 3-3. Three, three. When played, collect three pieces of evidence. A lot of threes about this guy. <laughs> He's got a lot of context to him. If, I, and if I'm absolutely correct about it, and I'm pretty, I, I feel like I am, unless someone wants to correct me. In Ace Attorney Law Reasons, he is in the third case in the first game, which is Turnabout Samurai. And he gives you three vital pieces of evidence in the game that help you solve the case. Um, if I'm correct. I think it's three. Plus, you have to freaking chase down this kid, so he's a bit of a pain in the ass at the start. But he does uh, provide you with, like, the uh, vital clues. Huh, makes sense for his stats, then. Yeah, so the three, three, three is all that. So I think it's great. Like you know, just drop them, boom, three pieces of evidence. So um, each of the colors have a decent card that lets him just get evidence. Um, off Which is card. nice. Yeah, and they're all three drops too. Hmm. We'll show Black Swan event soonish. Black Swan's actually pre well, Black Swan's a little more expensive, but Black Swan's actually pretty damn good too. Um, but I yeah. think the red one is the worst one. You think red's worst? Yeah, I think the the red one is the worst one. Hmm, you don't like so, the blue badger? <laughs> he's he's the police mascot. He was created by Dick Gumshoe. <laughs> I just don't like that he can't attack. Yeah, nah. 
That's fair enough. <laughs> To be fair, Red's got enough. Let them have something that can't do anything except give them something and then they just need to uh, ascend, ascension fodder it. Oh, well, fine. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, whatever. That's fine. Yeah, I think that's also an issue I find with it too, that it just can't attack. But, to be fair, it can't attack because in-game... It dick does make it. It is a mascot. It is made of cardboard. It literally just stands and it does a dance and it's got its tune and it moves its arms. That is all that it does. Alright. Makes sense then. That's lore, the reason lore, why it lore, that's, lore. <laughs> that's the whole reason why it can't attack. For law reasons, yes, it, it cannot attack. Um same thing with um same thing reason they did with Ashley. She can't attack. For red, uh, because she doesn't attack in Resident Evil 4. She runs away. I want to see the secrets for this set. Ooh, yeah. I definitely wouldn't mind pulling them secrets, so please, let them be good. Uh, Alright. Uh, three cost purple action. Uh, Lost Pearls! Hold one enemy unit for five seconds. Present two pieces of evidence, and instead you'll hold all enemy units for five seconds. You know what surprises me about Japan? What's that? Is like the like their police women wear skirts, but over here they don't. <laughs> they don't. They don't over here as well. No, everyone. Everyone's in pants. Which I mean, I get it, but you know, like <laughs> police woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 you know, I did that, that thought never crossed my mind until you pointed it out. I'm like, oh yeah, I've played this game. Because um, specifically, these two characters do not appear until the second game. Um, and yeah, it never fucking dawned on me because when you see, I'm pretty sure when you see her silhouette, her, her character in game, you only really see her from the waist high up or in casual clothes. So I never really knew she wore a skirt. At least I'm pretty sure about that. I might be wrong. It's been a while since I played number two. Um, yeah, I just noticed that from like Japanese culture, like watching like anime or some series in Japanese, you know, like I've noticed their police women wear skirts and it was just like, just like I'm kind of envious of them. <laughs> <laughs> just a little envious. <laughs> ah, man, I, 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 I never really thought about that myself too. I'm just like, I, I'm kind of I mean, just like, all right. It's probably a good thing, because then I'd probably get arrested a lot. Probably. <laughs> On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> On purpose. Uh, anyway, off topic there, but uh, overall, what's your impression? Halt one enemy for five seconds. Present two pieces of evidence. Instead, halt all, all units for five seconds. I mean, I think it's really good. Yeah. Um, a halt that halts everything. I mean, even if it, if it is for five seconds. That's dumb. <laughs> Purple doesn't really have that, except for the hero, right? And Velcana. Yeah, yeah Velcana and the hero are the, the only things that Purple has that can hold the whole entire board. Yeah, so everything else is single target. So, yeah, this is the first one of an action they've got that can actually do it, but you gotta give up two pieces of evidence to do it. Um, I mean, which isn't bad, though, because, like, if you, you, you pair this up with, uh, is it Darkness Illusion? Hmm. Like, that's a board wipe. That is a board wipe, yeah. That's a fucking board wipe gone. So, yeah, this, so yeah, this does help promote uh, Dark Illusion decks, so... Yeah, if, so if you, you're playing purple and you're playing against Dark Illusion, I would negate this card. You're gonna get board wipe. <laughs> <laughs> and be, watch out, watch out, because if you see this coming, you know what's about to happen. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, no. I'd, to be honest, I'd want to play around with that. Yeah, no, I definitely would too. Let's see, Darkness Illusion, because yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, Darkness Illusion is 22, yeah? Uh, maybe 21? Oh, I don't 21. remember exactly. 21, yeah. It's expensive, but like, you know, you get it. Ooh, board wiping uh, coming into play here, so yeah, we'll have to see how things go. Very nice stuff there. Um, Alright, and uh, Pearl Fay herself cost human 1-6. When played, you remove one random unit from your graveyard with an MP cost of 6 or less from the game. Pearl Fae transforms into that unit. 
Um, and then after 20 seconds, uh, revert back into Pearl Fate. I mean, it's, it's a good card. It's a good card. Dango's already thought of a deck basically now to uh, utilize her and just um, go for it. <laughs> just, so the, the first thing I thought about this card was just Dante. Just imagine you bring back Dante and then you flip him. Yeah, that's it. And then he doesn't, and then he doesn't change back because, you know, it's Dante. Yeah, he doesn't change back because um, the unit has technically changed. So that condition of 20 seconds is gone because it's no longer the same unit. Uh, that's how I'm looking at it, basically. Like, you do this with purple, black, to do false throne, because it's a core card, send a big unit to the graveyard, pearl fay them, flip it into pearl fay, and if, depending on what the unit you bring back, if you can do something with it so that it transforms or changes, and it won't come oh, and not be coming back good to thing that, yeah, good, thing, good thing slow tyrants are gone. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, that would be a nightmare. Um, yeah. That would be a nightmare with Slow Tyrant. Yeah, kind of glad it's all going away. Kind of glad. I mean, you could still use, uh, what's that other card? Gora Magala? But the problem is with Gora Magala, you have to level it up fully, and that's a six drop. Yeah, yeah, you're right. That's too risky. Uh, you're better off using the new six cost legendary. Uh, that we're about to reveal. That... That was announced as well. Uh, when we get to it, you'll see for the whole, you know, dual cycling stuff. But uh, this is good for, like, you know, Dante, bring back Dante. What else is pretty big in purple? Um, who else is a pretty big unit? I mean, V, but he's going away. <laughs> yeah, V, but yeah, fuck V. <laughs> I mean, yeah, fuck V. <laughs> yeah, good, good. good thing he's gone, dude. Oh my god, this guy would have been stupid with V. It would be so stupid, but you know what? It's Unlimited's problem, so whatever. You can do this on Unlimited, and it's whatever. But yeah, nah, solid card for, Pro for Profe, I don't mind. Uh, I like what she does, but yeah. Uh, that's uh, Unlimited's problem now. Uh, and I think this last one, uh, the Cyclock, one cost purple legendary. Give one unit in your hand or X pocket with the highest MP cost minus one, minus one MP. If you present five pieces of evidence when you activate this card, you instead make the MP cost, cost of one unit in your hand or X pocket with the highest MP uh, cost one MP in general. This card's like insanely good. It's insanely, it's really good. I am, um, I don't think it should be slapped on at all. Cause yeah, you, purple just has to present five pieces of evidence and whatever the highest unit they've got, it's in their hand. Hey, he's a one cost now. Hey, look, I got this freaking. I got uh, X in my hand. Ah, oh, he's in seven cost. Hang on, he's now a one. Yeah, this card's this card's nice. It's nice. You make FD. Awesome. Yeah, you you could definitely uh, if you're gonna go for the the dual colors, you can make anything really. Um, a one uh, one cost FDs, Beyonds. Getting you can some. make Titan. Actually, you could. Now that you now that I really think about it, yes, Titan can become a one cost. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> That's funny and stupid. Oh shit, man. One cost Titan. Boom! What off? <laughs> One cost fucking Titan. Shit. Oh well, that, that's just like, you, you gotta get it right. You can't, you don't wanna draw a Titan early game. Otherwise, you're brick. Uh, he, he's gotta be in the deck. You gotta make sure he stays in the deck and then wait until you get him. Um, And then, yeah. I mean, what, you could also one cost Orochi. That too as well. There's a lot of synergy this card can do um, with every color, so there, there is a lot of things you but, can do. I mean, if you are going to make a deck with this though, you're going to definitely want to make it only one, one, one like super high cost unit because you can't use more. You can't use this card more than once. One time, thank. Uh, in that situation, I'm glad it's a fucking legendary. Then I'm glad it's a legendary in that situation there, yeah, because then you'll only run one. I cost unit. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a good solid card for purple. So, you know, it's kind of nice that they're actually getting some good shit because they have not had a good shit for a very long time. But they've been slowly getting them, which is good. Slowly, we've seen it. They've been slowly getting some really good cards. So it's nice to see that purple. Uh, and now we'll finally hit into the black cards. We got Rules of Rules from Lucia. Three cost action. 
You give one unit minus four HP. Present two pieces of evidence. Give an additional negative three HP to that unit. Give one unit for... Oh, this card's good because it minuses HP. It doesn't do damage. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm like... I, I'm trying to just reassess myself thinking, okay, black got fate again, but it's just negating. It's dropping HP, not insta-destroying. Yes. Well, it's not really fate. I wouldn't compare it to Fate. I'd compare it more to like uh, Doll's Memories. Doll's Memories. Okay, let's go with Doll's Memories instead. Yeah, I, I really shouldn't really compare it anymore to Fate, to be truthful. I think Danko told me off not to do that, so I won't compare it to Fate. <laughs> yeah, um, it, it reminds me of Doll's Memories, where like you use Doll's Memories minus 4 HP, and like, you know, the only way to save your unit is to give your unit more HP. Yeah, yeah, and they've, they've done this already with another card for Black anyway, where it will. It, mine, it it targets based on HP, so I'm okay with this the idea of this, that they're making them sort of focus on dropping the HP and not just insta-destroying. Yeah, but that, that's demon hands. That's demon hands, but still. And, and um, that's like, that is a destroy, but this is more a pseudo-destroy, I would say. It's not really a destroy, it, yeah, it's pseudo, pseudo-destroy. But because they, you, it can win. Yeah, but like if they use demon uh, demon hands, you can technically still save it if you can change the HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But this card isn't really meant like as a, like a, a destroy destroy. It's like more like it's more of a card that penetrates the HP of a unit, so you can get rid of it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's still destroy, but it's a pseudo destroy. We'll go pseudo destroy. Like uh, I'm okay with this. I, I had to give it some time to think, really think about it. So I'm okay with it. I, f I mean, I thought full minus four HP was pretty strong. Like, I guess if red drops miles on turn one and you've got this, it's just like, well, I think I've hit, no, I've no. hit, um, two evidence. Sure enough, let's, let's knock off seven HP off miles Edgeworth. No, this card's insane. <laughs> like, let me tell you right now, this card's insane. Seven HP, that pretty much kills almost any unit in the game. It does. Seven HP does kill almost anything in the game. Um, if they don't have the evidence, then it's minus four HP, which isn't so bad, um, which you can get around. Yeah, you, you can get around 4 HP easily, but like, but not 7. 7 is pretty much like... It's pretty much, uh, your unit's gone. <laughs> your unit's gone, that situation. I mean... You can target a Rochi, you can target everything in this game, except Titan. Titan will just get stunned, so do not put this Wait, on Titan. What I like about this card, little bit is that, uh... Wait. In a dual color black deck, like uh, you could you could use it to like kill a Rochi. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You could definitely t uh, knock a Rochi down a pick. Wait, can this target Titan? No, it can't. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. It can't. It can't. Yeah. Do not use this on Titan ever. <laughs> Again, <laughs> never use any any action on Titan unless you're really intently trying to stun it. Um, but yeah, don't go for Titan. Uh, all right. Next action card, three cost epic, article, demon gathering. Destroy one friendly unit, then place one random unit from your deck that has an MP cost equal to or more than destroyed unit on the field. So I was asking somebody, and I think Dragoon was this, I asked Dragoon this, I know I wasn't sure, but this is basically rebirth, but from the deck instead of the graveyard. Kinda. Is it? You, you pop a unit on the field, you grab a unit randomly from your deck that has an MP cost equal to or more than your destroyed unit, and you bring it to the field. I mean, it's it's not because rebirth is free. <laughs> I mean, I know it has a cost. Yeah. Rebirth costs three, and it, it brings one unit from your graveyard min with minus one, minus one. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, like by what by by cost, I mean this card you have to like destroy a unit. Yeah, well, yeah, but I think that's fair in Black Situation because that's risk versus reward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's a fair card, but yeah. <laughs> the, the whole it's concept of Black is risk versus reward. I must yeah, risk. Yeah, yeah. I, I, think, I think it's a fair card because you have to go into the action phase. So, like, if you're playing against Red, you activate this, like, they have a chance to kill your unit before you destroy it, so... Yeah, that's the idea of it. If they're going to seal a unit or try to destroy or get rid of something, just destroy it, and then you get something from your deck to the field that has a higher. I mean, purple can bounce. So like purple, like you activate this card against purple, they they have a chance to bounce your unit as well. Yeah, um, I, I mean, with this card, I probably would target maybe four MP or higher to be on the safe side. 
Yeah. Against purple, yeah. Yeah. Um, because... But even if you can still bounce fours, right? If it's four and they try to bounce it, yeah, pop it. Um, that way you can get another unit to the field. That might be even higher. So, yeah. Uh, I think it definitely has its, its niche to it, so it's a matter of just trying to find how to play it. That's all. It's definitely not a bad card. It's just, uh... It's just... Like you said, high risk, high reward. Yeah, it's just the risk versus reward factor, so I'm okay with that for a black card. Always will be. Um, next up, we got Winston Payne! Three cost human, one five. When placed on the field, he gains plus two attack for one attack only. So Winston becomes a three five for one f uh, attack phase. Uh, he sucks. <laughs> he sucks? <laughs> I don't think it was that bad, or at least, I don't know. I mean, he's a good blocker, that's it. Yeah, Because you can block, he'll come out as a 3-5, then he'll attack as a 3-5, and then he'll lose his stats after that. Yeah, like, you just put him to block, and then he can either trade or kill or whatever, and then he's just... And then, yeah, he's just like, he's done. But it, it kind of yeah, goes I'd, with his uh, lore. I'd rather play Zombie, though. Yeah. You probably go for zombie or, situation. Come on, man! Like zombie and gay, dude, <laughs> all day. <laughs> mm. So yeah, I'm not sure when and how he would be useful. Um, I mean, he's useful. It's just there's better blockers out there. Like gay is is just such a much better blocker. Yeah, uh, I guess he'll probably. I maybe he'll come into play later. And by later, yeah, I mean the next expansion. But I might be, you might be surprised. They might be using a little way to utilize him. I mean, he's a human, so you could probably also make a, like a green black human deck. He could probably be usable in that. Mm. There's something there with him. If not this expansion, next expansion maybe. I mean, he's just a blocker, to be honest. Yeah, just a blocker. He'll have the stats for it on a 3-drop, so that's fine. But it goes into the lore with him, he's sort of just like, he thinks he's a big shot, but he's really not, which is why he loses that plus 2 attack. In lore reasons in the game, you once you knock him down a peg, he's kind of just a, a useless dude, so yeah. <laughs> a lot of lore to it when it comes into some of these cards. Alright, uh, Gearhead Witness Abigail. 6 cost human, 110 legendary. So, he's got Rush. When he takes damage, uh, he collects two pieces of evidence. After you collect seven or more pieces of evidence for the first time, he gains plus four attack and gains crush for one attack. So this is the dude when if you're doing purple black stuff with that uh, pearl, like he's a good choice. Yeah, I thought this card was bad, but I think he's actually kind of good. I yeah, look, I, I look, I, I said it on stream yesterday, and I'm I'm gonna say it again. After our assumptions of Iyasu, I'm never making that mistake again. I will give this card the benefit of the doubt and see it in action before making my judgment. No, you see, I, I thought like he had to collect the evidence himself to get the stats. No, but I never thought that. Have it. No, no, I thought that when I first read the card. But knowing how evidence works now, um, pretty sure. That as, as soon as you have that evidence count up, you drop him, he comes out as a 510, so... Yeah. Like, he's not a when played or when placed effect. So, you just bring him out on the field however possible, and he's got the f plus 4 once you hit 7 or more. He's a 510 on the field with Rush and Crush. For one attack. Uh, just, I mean... It just sucks that he doesn't have anything else. Honestly, if he kept Crush, that would be stupid. Yeah, like again, like he seems like a fair card, right? Because he, he loses Crush after one attack. Yeah, he they need to really balance out cards, and to be honest, this is fair. So I'm okay with this. I'm okay with it, I, I mean, think it's fine. Imagine if he had agility. Uh, does Black have one? I, I'm pretty sure it was green. Um, uh, what was the card? They, they get plus and flight and agility. What was that? Three cost? A legendary? Um, oh, Bolt Reavers. Bolt Reavers, yeah. Is that not core or is that haunted by memories or freaking whatever? 
That's one of our memories. Okay. So yeah, you could use that. Yeah. Bolt Reavers, Bolt Reavers is idiot. Arganel, give him more attack. <laughs> like, yeah, uh, Abby, yeah, just like, this is a, well, this is 10 times better than the other version of Abigail that they had in the game, so. Again, I am not going to do the same mistake I did with Yasu, like we all did. Give this card the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to I mean, watch I an action. I don't think he's busted. I think he's pretty good, but I don't think he's like amazingly good. I don't think it's amazingly good, but amazingly good at being a threat, being this big unit on the board that they have to try to get rid of. I mean, HP doesn't mean anything, right? Uh, I guess maybe he's not now still, especially with just how, you know, Denjin is, but, you know, post Haunted by Memories? I mean, he's good trading with a unit, like, other than that, not so much. Well, here's the thing, every time he takes damage, he's collecting evidence. Yeah, but he doesn't benefit off of it, like his stats don't change or, like... You know? No, but that's just, you know, evidence for black in general. That's just collecting evidence. Yeah. That's the only thing I'm looking at this thing. So if you got something else up your sleeve that needs evidence, he's collecting evidence every time he takes damage. Well, I mean, at least there's that, right? Yeah. So he's your... He's one of black's main evidence collectors, so... One of them. But there are other choices. But I'm just saying, like... You're constantly getting evidence off him. That's, that's just the best way of looking at it. But, yeah, like, I think he's a fair card and not robusted. Yeah, he, he's, he's pretty fair. So, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, cool. Abigail, uh, a decent good card, so I'm cool and happy with that. And finally, to cap things off, uh, Furo Tigger? Tigger. Tiger? Tig. Tigre. Tigre. Furo Tigre, or if you're in English, just the Furious Tiger. But Furo Tigre, uh, a 5 cost human 3 8. When played, sacrifice 3 life and then collect 4 pieces of evidence. This is Alexia's replacement for evidence! Yeah, this card's uh, got pretty good stats. Yeah, man, he's got exactly exact same stats as Alexia. 3 8. 5 drop 3 8. Um. Well, I'm assuming Black doesn't have a 3 cost uh, evidence collector, right? No, they don't actually. Uh... And I think that's the thing. Well, it hasn't been revealed yet. It hasn't been revealed, but as of right now, this is their only way to collect evidence that's not uh, by any other means. Ma Winston Payne is a. Uh, he doesn't follow the evidence line. He just like, oh, I'm gonna attack him, and that's it. Ooh. So this is this is Black's evidence collector right here. Hopefully they get a three cost evidence collector because uh, if they have to play this guy, then they're gonna have to play three of them. Yeah, uh, one or two. I mean, three's a bit much. Yeah, probably two. Well, it depends how much evidence you need, right? Yeah. Again, it goes by how much you need. Um, but yeah, look, I, I think he's fine. Uh, we'll just see what Black can do with evidence. What kind of deck? Because I have no idea, and we really won't know until next week. Saturday. Sunday. For you guys. Or whatever. Sunday for me, Saturday for you guys. When the first of uh, May comes around, and then we can start going into the new shit. Which I'm glad is a weekend, because at least I can spend that Sunday going through this stuff. I mean, you play this card, though, that activates the other one. Like, you could... What's it called? The three cost action? Rules for rules. Rules are rules. Rules are rules. Uh, yeah, if you're a, if you're a tigre, and then rules are rules. You've already collected two pieces of evidence, so bam. Uh, rules are rules kind of just works off this. So, and he helps with um, Abigail. We've got four pieces of evidence straight off the bat. Um, technically, you could even play um, Abigail. While you're at four, because the minute you get to seven, his attack will increase. Oh, that makes sense. But yeah, there, there are ways to sort of play Abigail um, and go for him. You don't have to wait until you get seven and drop him. You can play him before that, and you can just get to the seven and tackle him. Yeah. Mm. Hopefully they get. Uh, well, hopefully they get some other stuff too. Yeah, hopefully so. Uh, but that is it, guys. That is all the cards that have been revealed thus far. 
most likely we'll see uh, cards tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. So, and for the next week, they're being pr they're not going as aggressive with the card reveals as they were last time. Like it was Play Tep and Asia revealing cards, and then Play T and then Play Tep and was revealing cards. So like they were a bit last set or set before they were like doing both one each. Um, Although curiosity is gung ho, can us the ambassadors reveal some cards, please? I wouldn't mind revealing a card again. <laughs> I mean, maybe they're trying to keep us in suspense. Fine, keep us in suspense, but I I'm pretty sure some of us ambassadors would love to reveal some cards. Just a friendly I mean, tip there. I mean, the new set comes out next week, I think. Next week's on the weekend, which is. Kind of cool, because usually the set reveals have been during the week. So this is kind of nice that it's on a weekend. Um, uh, which is good, because then I think everyone's going to be jumping on board. So I, I definitely will be able to jump on board. I'm kind of glad, because it is a weekend. But uh, yeah, that's yeah. it, everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hunter, have you enjoyed some of these cards? What was your favorite? Yeah. Uh, Mia Fe. Mia Fe. <laughs> favorite. And not because of two reasons, but for many other reasons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I think I really do like Mia. Uh, that's definitely that's definitely come out. This has come out as one of my absolute favorite cards of green right now. I'm like, ha oh, I love it. Can't wait. Definitely can't wait. Uh, but let us guys know. Let us know what you want in chat. If you what you like. Uh, I'm now curious what uh, else we're getting because I'm there's still a bunch of other cards to reveal. I'm assuming Maya has to be green or red. Um, Probably green. Pearl's purple, but they might do a twist and throw Maya in purple. But you know, she wasn't really tricky. She's kind of just been like the most honest person with you from the beginning and very forgetful. She's also another sweetheart. So uh, uh, either green or red, I'm assuming they're making her. Um, but we'll go from. We'll have to figure it out from there. I'm just, like, I'm just excited to hear, find out what else the other cards can do. I just want to know. <laughs> uh, but yeah. <clears throat> Unless you got anything else, dude. But yeah. No, I'm hoping Cody. Hoping the Cody card we get is good. Spring oh, Quest too. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. Mayor Cody. <laughs> I'm thinking. Wait, we already talked about Cody Hackett's. Oh wait, Cody, Cody. Yeah, Mayor Cody. Forgot about him. Yeah, they showed, they showed off an action with Cody, but they didn't show off any any card with Cody yet. Yeah, man, my man Cody is kind of got a really, really buffed up arm. <laughs> just a bit too buffed. <laughs> In that pose, just uh, that pose with that buffed arm, the wristwatch feels like that wristwatch uh, looks like he needs another wristwatch <laughs> just to hold it in place. He's ready for business. He is so ready for business, man. Um, but yeah, uh, I actually kind of look forward to know what the Frank West card does because we don't know what that does either. Yeah, so there's that to look forward to as well. Mm. All right, guys, we're gonna leave it there. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was quite long, so I'm gonna do what I can to slightly edit this, uh, adjust it. But thanks again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the cards we we'll talk so far. Again, leave your likes and comments below as always, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Uh, most likely will be next week, depending. Until then. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, peace out, everyone. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.